Coverage making a difference for Indiana. Now, WRTV 6 News. Giving thanks, even if it took 60 years. Good evening and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Clyde Lee. And I'm Dion Willis. On 6 News tonight at 5, we met a West Side family who were getting ready for a long-awaited reunion. 6 News' Corey Warren was there tonight when brother and sister finally meet. For the Harrison family, this was a Thanksgiving like so many others, sharing a traditional dinner with neighbors. For Doris Harrison, it was like no other. After almost six decades, she would be reunited with her brother. Well, I knew what you looked like because I saw you on God TV. Bless you. Oh. I saw you on TV too. God bless you. With their families looking on, this brother and sister were together again, 59 years after they were separated at Children's Guardian Home, an Indianapolis orphanage. The reunion was emotional, to say the least. Just one more Christmas card to write, huh? <laughs> this is stuff of family history to be recorded and photographed Catherine? and treasured. Although the two lived on the same side of town for years, their paths never crossed. He now lives in Louisiana. I'm thoroughly convinced it's the hand of God that has brought us together today and placed the right people in the right place at the right time. That I've always known I had a sister, but I never dreamt I would ever get to see my sister. I had resigned myself to the fact that I never would. Few Thanksgivings can hold a candle to this one. But the reunion won't be complete until another sister is found. Her name is Marilyn, and uh, we have no idea where she is. And uh, that, is, that is the miracle that we're hoping for next. For now, though, Doris and Dennis can focus on each other and the life together they never had. It might be two or three days down the road before it really hits us say, hey, I, I really, really do have my brother. I really do have my brother. And there could be another reunion down the road. Since both Doris and Dennis grew up in Indianapolis, there is a chance that their missing sister Marilyn did too. They're hoping that she might see that story tonight so that they can make this reunion complete. One of the biggest holiday feasts in the country is held right here in Indianapolis. Today, the Moselle Sanders Thanksgiving dinner tradition carried on. Volunteers spent many long hours preparing and serving and delivering the meals for some 25,000 people. For the less fortunate, it's a meal prepared with love, with dedication. I hope that it tells them that a lot of people care. I hope that they have a good meal, because some of them can't afford it. And I hope that... Uh, it create a better brotherhood between our people. For 23 years, thousands of volunteers have made sure the event is a success. I think it pays such a great tribute and high honor to my late father, Moselle. I think when he um, began uh, this effort, I don't think he had any idea of how large it would become and how meaningful it would become. Another tradition carries on for the 69th year. The annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade marched through New York despite bone-chilling cold and gusting winds. A couple of balloons had a tough time handling the strong winds, and Dudley the Dragon hit a lamppost and deflated. But in spite of the mishaps, the crowd of nearly 2 million enjoyed the balloons, the bands, and the arrival, of course, of Santa. Dion? Well, we all have our uh, favorite holiday ornament or keepsake that has been around for years and years. Downtown, of course, no exception. The Indianapolis chair mysteriously reappears every year on Thanksgiving. Ever since World War II, the old downtown Ellis Air store put a cherub on top of the bronze clock at Washington and Meridian. The cherub watches over us until Santa arrived Christmas Eve. Another sign the holiday season is officially underway is when the Soldiers and Sailors Monument becomes what's called the world's largest Christmas tree. Pre-lighting festivities will get underway at 5 p.m. at The Circle with 6 News' Kevin Gregory. The tree lighting program officially begins at 7 with Sandy Patty joining Clyde and me on the stage. The lights will go on at 7.25. They're immediately followed by fireworks this year. And if you can't make it in person, you can watch the lighting ceremony live right here on WRTV 6 beginning at 7. It'll be the best one yet. Yeah. Some stores stayed open today to give their customers a holiday shopping head start and their employees a chance to make some extra cash. Kmart's Brent Dodson kept the carts in order as shoppers came and went throughout the day, all while earning overtime holiday pay. A demand for their donuts kept Krispy Kreme open and customers craving less traditional fare were also able to satisfy their hunger at where else? At a White Castle. 
For many people, tomorrow is a holiday, but that doesn't mean a day of relaxation. No, it is the official beginning of the Christmas shopping season, and downtown retailers couldn't be merrier. Six News' Barbara Lewis reports. If the economic forecasts come true, it will be a happy holiday for Indiana shop owners. Two surveys predict holiday sales will be up 5 to 8 percent over last year. That rosy prediction is welcome news downtown. Circle Center is hanging its holiday star on the crowd gathered to see the celebration of lights on Monument Circle. Well, after the tree lighting this year, traffic should stagger because every, we hope a lot of people will come to Circle Center and shop. And we've extended our retail hours to 11 p.m. for this Friday night. Not that people are staying away anyway. Sometime this weekend, Circle Center will see its four millionth shopper since its opening September 8th. That's one month ahead of projections. And this holiday weekend, the more the merrier. You know, we open at 8 o'clock, and we are open that night until 11 o'clock, and so that's a long day, and so people will have a long time to shop, and I think from the get-go, it is going to be so crowded here. You can sometimes not even walk down the aisles. According to one survey, 75% of Hoosier shoppers say they are extremely cost-conscious. So watch for the fireworks right after the tree lighting, and for fired-up shoppers around the sales sign. Barbara Lewis, 6 News. Most stores plan to open earlier and close later each day until Christmas Eve. In tonight's 6 News follow-up, the case of a missing Indianapolis man has now turned to murder. The body of 41-year-old James Branham was found today near Amarillo, Texas. Police say that his own niece and her boyfriend and another acquaintance drove the body there after they killed him over an unpaid debt. 19-year-old Jeffrey Stoops, the niece, Brandy Anderson, and another unnamed woman will all reportedly be charged with murder. Police suspect murder in the disappearance of Jacqueline Levitz, the widow whose husband founded the furniture store chain. She was last seen on Saturday, and police say that blood has been found in her home in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Levitz moved there just three weeks ago to be closer to her family. An important vote tomorrow in Ireland over whether to legalize divorce there. The issue pits church against state. Ireland is predominantly Catholic, and the Catholic Church frowns on divorce. More than 2.5 million people are eligible to vote, and opinion polls show this vote could go either way. Irish citizens defeated a similar proposal in 1986. Well, right about now, uh, we hope that you're all through cleaning up, and uh, after all that food, mm -hmm. you're just sort of vegging out and relaxing. That also describes how some folks today carved out their own niche, since they didn't cut into turkey or any other type of meat. Wow. <laughs> This must be the best thing in the world. And she should know. 31 years ago, she won tickets to see the Beatles perform here. Bob and Tom tell us how she also got to meet the Fab Four when 6 News at 11 continues. Its visibility and cab forward roominess will brighten your outlook. Its dual airbags and steel door beams will help you feel safe and protected. And its fuel-injected multi-valve engine will put a smile on your face. Dodge Neon. It brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, have a nice day. $99.95 for starters, around $13.3, nicely equipped. Just two days, Friday and Saturday at New York Carpet World. Carpets half price, and you don't need cash. Pay no money down and get credit free for two full years. Yes, till 1998. Huge selection. Not just a few carpets, hundreds half price. Not just a few big names, every major brand half price. And with any carpet, pay no money down and no interest through 1995, 96, 97. Credit free till 1998. You can't pass this up. Just two days only, Friday and Saturday at New York Carpet World. Make a wish, then make a list, then head to the Lazarus after Thanksgiving sale. It's the one place to be this weekend to save 20 to 50% all over the store and get a jump on your holiday shopping. Save on Levi's 551s and 521s, just $29.99. Take 50% off sterling silver jewelry and our white goose down comforter, just $79.99. Stores open tomorrow, 7 a.m., so shop early and stay late. The after Thanksgiving sale at Lazarus, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Even new ways to save. The 96 Buyer's Choice Drive-Away. It's your choice. Lease the elegant 96 Chrysler LHS for just $369 a month. Or get our lowest APR. Or our biggest cash back. Right here, right now. This is where you want to be. 
for a limited time, only at your local Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Six News continues with Clyde Lee, Dion Willis, Storm Team Six meteorologist Bob McClain, and Ed Sorensen. The man who blasted us with the number one 60s hit, Shotgun, is dead tonight. Junior Walker died today of cancer. He sang and he played tenor sax as a leader of Junior Walker and the All-Stars. That band was founded in South Bend. Walker was believed to be in his mid-50s. That's a great band. Yeah, it sounded good. Well, a lot of people uh, point to the Beatles' first performance on the Ed Sullivan Show as one of those, uh, where were you when that happened? Mm -hmm. And when Six News started researching the Beatles anthology, we were flooded with faxes. This is just some of them. A Big pile of them, each mentioning the story the sender still vividly remembers. Well, tonight, we wrap up our look back on September 3rd, 1964. Bob and Tom report on one of those events Hoosier fans will never forget. I want to meet the Beatles because they have a special magic. When they perform, the oppressing world crisis and other problems can be temporarily forgotten. They sing Elaine May, 15 years old in 1964, and like thousands of girls her age, hopelessly devoted to the Beatles. Corny, but it worked. <laughs> Elaine May not only saw the concert, she met the men she worshipped. Wow. <laughs> this must be the best thing in the world. Elaine won an essay contest in the Indianapolis News with three words to spare. Today, 31 years later, Elaine Conley says she didn't possess a secret gift for writing. I kind of wondered what would the judges be looking for. <laughs> I knew why I wanted to meet them, because I was crazy about them. Elaine met her idols, and through this picture in her music room, relives that moment every day. Elaine says she's not as big a Beatles fan as she was, but... The Beatles will always be special for me. Friendship. It was bonded at that time. Yeah, and it's still bonded. Four women, friends in school, friends for life, through the Beatles. Pat Taylor was a sophomore at Westfield High School. She was your typical all-American girl with British blood bubbling through her. We drank tea, and um, anything to do with the Beatles touched our life. I mean, we, we tried to live like uh, a Liverpool, England girl would live. We tried to get as close to that as we could. The girls all made it to the concert. Alice Bond was only 13 years old. It was quite a sight for an eighth grader to see the Fab Four from the seats on the Coliseum floor. It's something I, you always remember it. I mean, it's like it almost happened yesterday. I couldn't speak. I was hoarse. <laughs> I had screamed so much. I didn't really have a voice. I don't remember saying anything. <laughs> Wanda didn't have much of a voice, but the Beatles did, and they let it show. Two packed houses, two shows, 30,000 fans packed the state fairgrounds then, and most remember it like it was yesterday. The ladies you just met almost didn't make it to the concert. It seems they thought about skipping school to get to the state fairgrounds early, but were stopped when their high school principal <laughs> found out. <laughs> nice trip down memory lane, yes. though. It's been fun. Well, we need to find out how heavy a coat uh, we'll all need to take with us tomorrow. Bob, Storm Team 6 forecast through the weekend when we come back. First, tonight's winning lotto numbers and a look ahead to Nightline. I'm Forrest Sawyer. Coming up on Nightline, his early vision was a computer in every home. Now he sees one in every pocket. The world, according to Gates, tonight. They're still back there. 
Don't worry, love. You're riding in the world's first sport utility wagon. I am. That's right. This here's the all-wheel drive Subaru Outback. That's great. But... You know, it's got more cargo space than a passport. Uh-huh. The ground clearance of an Explorer. Yeah, but... Oh, and did I mention, it gets much better gas mileage than a Jeep Cherokee. Outback, you say? Subaru Outback. The world's first sport utility wagon is made right here in Indiana. See your Subaru dealer today. All of us at H.H. Gregg hope that you and yours are enjoying this Thanksgiving together. And we hope you'll have an opportunity to look over our advertising insert in today's paper. H.H. Gregg's Christmas special start tomorrow at 8 a.m. With holiday savings, everybody understands. Doorbuster specials in every department. Available two hours only, tomorrow only, 8 to 10 a.m. So from all of us to all of you, have a great Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Don't be a turkey. <laughs> See you tomorrow at H.H. Gregg. Dear car owners, if your car pulls, shimmies, or bounces, come to Midas, the suspension experts, for a thorough inspection and get your suspension problem fixed right the first time. That's the Midas way. Have a happy holiday, everybody. Make cold your first stop this Friday starting at 7 a.m. for four hours of early bird specials till 11. Featuring all popcorn tins for $3.99, 200 count Christmas tree lights for $3.99, and 16 more early birds for the whole family till 11. Then keep on shopping for the 46 Friday-only bonus buys that last till 11 p.m. So come to Colds for two days of America's best holiday values. Mm. And make this the happiest holidays ever. My Mercury Village, there is a minivan that drives like a car, so I call it a sport coupe for seven people. It can help you handle the curves and help you handle your finances with value like this. Amazing when you consider Villager comes with V6 power, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, airbag, and a sliding rear seat for quick loading. Villager, there's no mini in this minivan. Mercury Villager at your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. Bob McLean Storm Team 6 forecast has the seal of approval of the American Meteorological Society. Good evening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving, surrounded by warmth and family and friends. Uh, probably feeling a little sluggish right now after that heavy meal, but you're going to have to be ready because in just a few hours, those, some of those stores are going to be opening and you're going to have to kind of join in with the frenzy of shopping. If you're up bright and early tomorrow morning heading for the various stores, maybe even some of the shopping malls. We've got a shopper's forecast for you. We have a little graphic here that uh, indicates, uh, well, the sun will be out. There won't be too much wind, but it will be a bit nippy with temperatures from near 20 to the mid-20s during the early morning hours, and it won't be uh, warming up too much. Well, right now, we've got uh, generally fair skies, starry skies right now, our current conditions. It's at 25 degrees, the humidity is 81%. Breeze out of the northwest at 8 miles an hour, and the barometer is rising. Today's high, that was 40 degrees, and the current temperature of 25 is the low for the day. We had no rainfall since midnight. 40 degrees here in Indianapolis, and really not a great deal of variation, as reported by our weather watchers, who uh, get kind of a gold star for reporting in on this holiday. It did get up to 41 degrees at Speedway, but only 36 Dick Abel at Kokomo and also uh, Russell Feemeyer in the uh, Noblesville area with 38 degrees at Anderson and also over at Middletown and Bill Niehoff of Marshall reported 40 degrees. Not a big change over those readings that we just talked about. We'll still be in the 30s for much of tomorrow. But notice the mild air bubbling up over the nation's midsection as winds swing around into a southwesterly direction, some of that mild air will be coming in on the heels of south to southwesterly winds over the weekend. As we take a look and see what's going on now around the area via our weather satellite loop, you'll be able to see that we start out with a lot of clouds during the early morning hours, then those clouds move out of the way, allowing brief sunshine, then more clouds move in, but poof, those clouds are evaporating as High pressure is ridging and exerting its influence in a southeasterly fashion across our area. And there goes an area of rain that brought about nine-tenths of an inch to Lexington, Kentucky. Now, by tomorrow afternoon, it looks like our map will show warm air coming out of the plains into the middle Mississippi River Valley. Some light snow over portions of northern Wisconsin and upper Michigan will have 
some sunshine, dry weather, still cool south to southwesterly winds, but those south to southwesterly winds will increase somewhat on Saturday and Sunday, and that'll help bring in milder air. So our forecast for uh, the remainder of tonight, a few fair weather clouds, but uh, basically we'll have a pretty good display of stars. Kind of cold, though. Temperatures into the uh, upper teens and lower 20s. Tomorrow, well, you might want to start looking for that charge card now because we're not too many hours away from the opening of some stores. We'll see some sunshine mixed in some cloudiness. Still chilly conditions with highs in the upper 30s or lower 40s. Then warmer for Saturday with highs from the mid 40s to about 50 and into the 50s on Sunday. Possibility of some showers arriving by late Sunday, continuing into Monday. Could be mixed with a little wet snow on Tuesday and kind of cool again for Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to get a nice break over the weekend, that's mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Be a good time to put up those Christmas lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bob. I'll go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, good effort by the Pacers tonight. Good yeah. test for them. Well, yeah, they had the ultimate test. The two-time world champion Houston Rockets at the arena tonight. And the Pacers were looking good late, but then Houston showed why they're champs down the stretch. They win IU in the first round of the... Great Alaska shootout and Turkey Day football, too. Bunch of sports coming up next. Make a wish, then make a list. Then head to the Lazarus After Thanksgiving sale. Stores open tomorrow, 7 a.m. So shop early and stay late. At Cal Spas, the trucks are rolling and the wheels are turning for this holiday season. Right now, in November of 95, save big on a beautiful new 96 model Cal Spa. And make no payments, pay no interest until 1997. Or receive absolutely free a full-size oak pool table with your spa purchase. Save big on year-round relaxation in time for Christmas. No payments, no interest until 1997, or get a pool table free at Cal Spas. Also, check out the 95 closeouts from only $24.95. Park Avenue for 96. Bringing you America's pride. Buick is America's ride. What could be more exciting than the introduction of the 96 Park Avenue? Announcing the Luxury Edition Park Avenue lease. Three seventy-nine dollars per month, including leather and every upscale appointment imaginable. Buick is America's ride. At your Central Indiana Buick dealer. Do you feel pressure to buy service agreements over the phone? A special call six investigates shows you how one local company puts pressure on its people to sell, sell, sell. Monday at 5.30. Wesley Snipes on Woody Harrelson. He's a little rebellious. I ain't gonna hit him. Why not? Because I'm gonna hit him. Woody Harrelson on Wesley Snipes. We don't agree on a thing. You gonna blame this on me, too? Oh, this is definitely your fault. There's no telling what you're gonna get in this picture. But I hope it's genius. This Thanksgiving... What the hell are we gonna do? Go faster! Get on board. The funniest thrill... Money Train, rated R, at theaters now. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving. The Pacers, not so good. The two-time defending Houston Rockets, the two-time defending champion Houston Rockets, showed the Pacers tonight just why they are the best, beating them by seven at Market Square Arena. Now, this is a team that's off to a 10-1 and one start in their bid for a three-peat. They've won seven straight, and although the Pacers did not have Rick Smiths, they did have the home court advantage tonight. And the Rockets had to be worn out. It was their second road game in as many nights, their third on the road in the last four nights. So these guys have got to be a little creaky on those old legs. Reggie Miller, the J, he had 24. The Glide, Clyde Drexler gets a pair on the drive. He had only 11 points tonight, but at the age of 35, he's still an incredible physical specimen. The guy can run all night. Hakeem Olajuwon with the slam. He had only 15 points, seven rebounds. Derek McKee, the hoop and the foul. He's not all the way back yet physically, but played so well tonight. End of the second quarter, rookie Travis Best. Nothing but twine to beat the halftime horn. Look at that soft little runner. That's his only hoop of the night. Paces up for the break, 59-55.
Dale Davis had a double-double. 19 points, 10 rebounds. He gets the dunk down low. Pacers had a six-point lead late, but Houston took off, scored 10 straight, made 11 of 21, shot 52% from behind the three-point arc. Robert Ory with the three right there. Eight rockets in double figures and eight pacer turnovers in the fourth quarter when houston does it in crunch time they win it 115 to 108 again they're 10 and 1 pacers fall to 5 and 4 they are back home tomorrow night to play the cleveland cavaliers well let's talk some college hoop right now but first of all i guess we're going to hear from larry brown no sound no sound we're not going to do that yeah, let's go in the locker room here. Eddie Johnson, right now. Always, I mean, some of the later people are just going to say, look, they're, you know, they're just good ball players instead of saying that they're role players always, you know, stepping up at inopportune times. But when opportunity knocks, they always seem to be there. Just give them credit, though. They knock down shots and they execute it down the stretch. When they hit them, they're heroes. When they don't, you look at them and say, what kind of shot was that? But that's why they, they're the champs. We'll be back, though. And now to college hoop. The Hoosiers tipped off their 95 season just a few minutes ago in Anchorage, Alaska. Opening round of the Great Alaska Shootout against the host school, Alaska Anchorage. This game is winding down, and IU is getting a tussle from the Seawolves. About, oh, six and a half minutes left in the game, and IU leads it, but by only three, as you see, 67-64. That would be a shocking upset. Oh, they're tied, Clyde tells me. Three for Alaska Anchorage. We're all tied at 67 out there in the Great Alaska Shootout. Kansas City at Dallas. Turkey Day football in Irving, Texas. First quarter, Emmett Smith, 15-yard touchdown burst. Seven-zip catch. Touchdown this year for Emmett. The NFL record, 24 by John Riggins. Later in the quarter, former Colt Ray Donaldson broke his leg on that Emmett Smith run. He'll have surgery Friday. He's out for the rest of the season. Late first quarter, Troy Aikman up top to Michael Irvin, who makes a tremendous one-hand juggling grab, 33 yards for the score. Then he goes over and gives the ball to his sister, Lisa, in the stands. Irvin, 11 catches for 121 yards. Third quarter, Aikman to Jay Novacek over the middle. Watch Novacek hurdle his way into the end zone, 33 yards on this score as well to make it 21-6 Dallas. Aikman, 21 of 29 for 192 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Late third quarter, Smith sprains his left knee, planning... Trying to make a cut on the Astro turf. Looked like he caught his foot on the turf. He went down like a shot. He'll have an MRI tomorrow to determine the extent of the injury. He rushed for 56 yards today before being wheeled off on a golf cart. Irvin and Dale Carter, the Chiefs get into it late in the game. Carter took a swing at Irvin and is eventually kicked out for kicking Michael. Carter was upset at what he thought was Irvin headbutting him off the line of scrimmage. Dallas gets the win 24 to 12. Both teams now 10 and 2. We'll have an update on Emmett Smith's condition for you tomorrow. Lions Vikings at the Silverdome after a Minnesota touchdown. Detroit's Ron Rivers coughs it up on the ensuing kickoff return. Orlando Thomas of the Vikings grabs it, takes it in from 17 yards out. We're all tied at 21. Then Warren Moon connects with Chris Carter in the second quarter. 10 yards for the touch. 28-24 Vikings at halftime. Moon, good number. 30-47, 384 yards, three touchdowns, had two picked off. But it was Scott Mitchell's day. To Herman Moore for 27 yards and a touch. That's the end of the third quarter. Detroit led at 34, 31 through three. Mitchell, 30 of 45, a club record, 410 yards passing, four touchdowns, one INT. Barry Sanders had a minus one yard rushing in the first half, goes 50 for a touchdown here in the fourth quarter, finishes the game with 138, 44, 38 to final. Both teams now six and six on the year. Indiana now leading 72, 69. Keep providing me with updates, kids. I appreciate that. First, he won his fourth straight National League Cy Young Award. Then he was awarded his sixth straight gold glove as the best defensive pitcher in the National League. And today, Greg Maddox, who led the Atlanta Braves to their first World Series title this season, completed a personal hat trick of sorts by being named AP Player of the Year for all of big league baseball. He got 30 of a possible 66 first place votes, six more than runner-up Albert Bell of Cleveland in the media balloting. You didn't expect Bell to win anything in the media balloting, did you? And Boston's move on was third with five votes. And the last score I have, 74-69. IU up late by five in Alaska. Okay, Thanks. thank you. Some food looks and uh, maybe tastes better than it sounds. How about a wheat, gluten, curdled yeah. soy oh, yeah. milk thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, mm. it resembles turkey minus the drumsticks. A feast for the frou-frou. <laughs> continue. Friday night, bring the whole family to Monument Circle for a Hoosier holiday tradition with live performances by Indiana's Sandy Patty and a spectacular fireworks display. We'll see you downtown Friday night. Live coverage begins at 7 exclusively on RTV6. The celebration of lights made possible thanks to these fine Indiana sponsors.
fragrance and skin fitness line by Ralph Lauren. The Polo Sport Basketball, your gift with any $35 Polo Sport fragrance purchase. Available at Lazarus. As you tackle your holiday shopping, we thought you might like some advice from Ovation. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Oh, as you shop Ovation for a great deal on home theater, home audio, car audio, TVs, VCRs, keep in mind, not every gift has to fit under the tree. Ovation. We might not have something for everyone on your list, just the ones that really matter. Shop our holiday weekend sale for wall-to-wall -wall savings, plus additional discounts or no payments, no interest for 12 months. Now through Tuesday at Emmerich Furniture and our Lazy Boy Gallery. With all the sales and football and stuff going on this week, and I'm here to remind you that this Friday and Saturday, Target is having an incredible two-day sale. Not one, two. Not one, two. Two, two. Two, two. Cut. Who's going to see this? Two. But there was nothing in about this tutu. Be one of the first thousand guests at any Target store Friday morning and receive a free gift-filled holiday survival kit during the Target two-day sale starting Friday at 7 a.m. Blossom's got sale prices every day. Lordy, they're good people. Hi, Indiana. I'm John Tesh. And I'm Mary Hart. For up-to-date news from the entertainment world, join us for Entertainment Tonight. Right after Nightline on RTV6. Finally tonight, something uh, different, to say the least. How'd you like to sink your teeth into an un-turkey? Well, that's what the chef at a San Francisco vegetarian restaurant calls her holiday creation. Look at this. It is a meatless wheat gluten concoction covered with a crispy, skin-like covering of the curd that forms on heated soy milk. Sounds appetizing, doesn't it? Mm. All together now? Mm. Oh, it's not cheap, though. $32 for a whole un-turkey to go, not including the wild rice stuffed pumpkin, one vegetarian even brought along a picture of the turkey of her youth. And we want to say mm -hmm. goodbye. Not really, but a man who's retiring. We know we're going to see him again. Frank Greenwald, who's been here yeah. for 29 years at 29 Channel 6. Years. He must Doesn't have started possible. Possible. <laughs> Doesn't seem possible. Yeah, when I was five years old. He must have started when he was five years old. Yeah. 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 It's the last day today on yeah. Thanksgiving. What are you going to do in retirement? Well, I think I might go down to Florida in the cold weather. Oh, oh, and then, uh, then work on my little mini farm right there. Great. But well, I, we're going to miss all those strawberries yeah. you bring in. Oh, yeah. And, and all your health. Well, well, I miss everybody around here, too. Yeah. yeah. It's really been a pleasure. Even me, Frank? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. you. Yeah, and I, we've been through a lot together. Yeah. Enjoyed working with you. Uh, same here. <laughs> and uh, are you score? Uh, 76 70 Hoosiers. Okay. That's it for us. Happy Thanksgiving. Good night. Good, night. Good luck, Frankie. Okay, thank you. <laughs>